What up, what up, what up, what up, boys? Welcome to the channel for today's video. We got the KLX 140 out on the trail. Oh, snap, boy. We got a brand new digital display out on the bike by our friends over at Trail Tech. This is the Vapor model. And we are out today to test the KLX. 140 RF's top speed. So we're gonna go just rip through this trail here. We got a good spot in mind that we can let this thing just go wide open and just let her eat. And today we're gonna find out how fast a KLX 140 RF is. Now keep in mind, this one's completely stock still, completely stock gearing, stock motor, stock carb, stock pipe. So it'll be a really good test to see just how a stock KLX 140 RF is for its top speed. It's really cool. Got a couple LED sensors in here. Tell you about your temperatures and all those goodies. Now just for curiosity's sake, let's just see what each gear maxes out for top speed. So here's first gear. You can do about 30K in first gear. Second. All right, let's just make sure. Yeah, you got about 45 in second. You get about 60k an hour in third gear. Let's just keep ripping her. to him we let her let her just eat now you get about 69 i like that number 69 in fourth gear so we're just going to go ahead and i'm going to cruise up to the spot that uh we know has got a good spot that i can let this thing just go full wide open and fully max out top speed now of course because we got the dash and all that stuff we will be uh going ahead and making sure that we get uh a comparison once we get some pipes some mods on this bike to really open her up and see what uh, what a fully built KLX is top speed and acceleration all that can be so let's go ahead and get up to our spot here and we'll give her a couple test rips all right as you guys can see we're out here at the spot we've got a nice long runway from both sides i think it's gonna be an ideal spot to test out our max speed on the klx 140. we have this new vapor trail tech digital display here this thing's an absolute beast it's so sick so cool fits really well on the klx 140 and uh yeah we're gonna set up our camera get a couple flybys and then we'll go ahead and we'll do a couple tests get some zero to 60s and all that kind of times and stuff and see how fast this bike really is so let's go ahead sit the camera down on this log right here it looks peachy and we're gonna do a couple mad flybys and we'll see how fast this thing goes so let's go ahead and let's throw you on a flyby All right, now this time I'll actually go and watch the uh, the speedometer and we'll see what we get up to. All right, here we go. So it looks like that's about 83k an hour is what she's pulling for a top speed. Not too bad for a fully stock bike. We know there's a lot more pep left in its step. We just gotta do a couple of those mods to get her going. Do a big old drip though. Woo! <laughs> All 
we got it set up miles an hour so you guys can see for my American Amigos what this thing gets up to. So let's go ahead and we'll give it a shot. Let's get a nice race start. slightly downhill at the end there let's see when we get a little bit higher than 52 all right here we go Holy smokes, it says she's 193 degrees Celsius. That's scorching hot. Another little drift. Woo! All right, so the last thing I wanna test is our quarter mile time. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get this set up and let's see uh, what our best quarter mile is that we can get going down here. So when we go and do our gearing change, you can see what it does in a quarter mile. So let's go ahead, we got this set up. Let's do a quarter mile drag race on the bike and see what we get. All right, so we gotta think like we are speed. We're gonna need a good drag race start here and really just get into it and see what we can get for a quarter mile. All right, let's do it. All right, let's see what our quarter mile time was. We did a 21 second quarter mile. Now I didn't have this set up, so let's go ahead and see what our crossing speed is at uh, a quarter mile. This one says we got up to 87 kilometers an hour, which would be a little bit faster than what we read out here. You gotta keep in mind, I'm not sure if this is perfectly calibrated for our top speed, but this one did say we get up to 87 kilometers an hour, which is interesting. Maybe we got a little bit faster than this reads, and maybe we need to accurately uh, measure our tire a little bit better to get this dialed in so it's the perfect calibration. But let's go ahead, let's do that one more time. Let's head back up there. And we'll do one more quarter mile test and we'll see what our crossing speed is at the quarter mile. So this one, we got 21.26 seconds. Let's see if we can get it any faster. Well, it looks like it didn't register on that one, so we're gonna go have to do a recap on it. Let's go give her one more try. All right, so on this one, I think we're gonna try it in second gear off the get-go, so we don't have to do the shift. Let's see what we can do here. Let's hope that one read. It's not reading anymore. Well, we know what we got to go off of is, we know we got to run in at 21 seconds, so we'll be back later to try it out for uh, to give it another shot here and see how what she does. But I know there's some rain coming and we need to get out here before it starts raining sideways. Well, there 
you got it folks. It's about 52 miles an hour or about 82 kilometers an hour is what this thing tops out at. Hell yeah, brother. So as you guys can see, this is KLX 140 RF with the biggest wheel set, maxes around 52 miles an hour, around 82 kilometers an hour, which is plenty enough to get around and have some fun on the thing and rip. As you can see, the thing rips pretty good. Definitely would like to grab an extra like 20K an hour out of it, which, uh, you know, stick around on the channel. Coming soon, we're gonna do some big bore kit, cam stuff, make this thing a whole lot quicker, bigger car, bigger pipe. And uh, yeah, these bikes really do just have like corked up pipes on them that don't really breathe. They also got extremely small carburetors at 20 millimeters. Now, like for example, my Apollo that I had, that thing ran a 24 millimeter carburetor. So this thing is pretty, pretty corked up, pretty suffocated with air. And uh, yeah, you can definitely make some more top end on these bikes, just a handful of modifications, which we will be showing later on the channel. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.